Hey, Homestead Prepper. Okay guys, I've uh, got to jack my machine up here and it is on some soft ground and this thing is extremely heavy. It weighs a good six or seven tons. So that's, you know, 12,000, 13 or 14,000 pounds. And I've done it before with a bottle jack and it is very, like I said, laborious. And that's another reason I'm using these uh, homemade toe jacks and air over hydraulic rams. So, uh, together I have about 16 tons of lifting force so I think this could pick the whole thing up in the air but I just need it picked up high enough so I can uh, put some more blocks or stands or whatever in there so I can work on this thing okay and I'm going to be using my um, onboard air compressor and I've got some hose here kind of laid out kind of messy but uh, alright well let's uh, let's get some air going and let's see if we can jack this thing up Hey guys I don't know what to say but these things worked beautifully pick that thing right up a whole lot less effort than a manual bottle jack Slip around over here I may go up a little higher like I said those rams will go up uh, 18 inches so and I've used probably I don't know if I had to guess it's probably about 12 or 14 inches so I could go up a little bit higher I might just do that because it's just going to sink back down to the ground all right let's let's raise it up a little more Okay guys, you can remember that you saw it here first. Uh, I haven't seen anybody else uh, with toe jacks that would lift up uh, something like this with air, um, with an with a air compressor over there in the back of my truck. Alright, all I need to do is put some, uh, some blocks under there. Then I'll, I'll set it down and then I need to come around here and I need to lift up the other side too. I've got some more blocks right there. So, well one thing I need to show you too, if you look, there's some uh, half inch steel pads down there. And that really helps a lot to keep these things from sinking in the ground. Okay, well let's, uh, let's get that blocked up and we'll work on the other side. Well, it's uh, getting pretty dark out here. I gotta be honest with you. I really hate daylight savings time. But uh, basically, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna let this down. I've already let it down somewhat. And I've got some of those Harbor Freight jack stands there. They're good for three tons. So three tons on this end and three tons on the other end. I should be right at my limit or maybe a little above. I don't know. So let's let this down. that one let's uh let's let this one down there we go okay all right well let me uh pull them out I, I may have to you know like I said do the rest of this video tomorrow but uh, got it up off the ground I'll go ahead and shake it I don't intend on working underneath that you know Maybe if I'm under some concrete, I might, but not, not on soft ground. Okay. Okay, guys, I just want to show you how heavy these things are. This has sunk into the ground. I'm going to be changing those three-ton jack stands out. Well, it's sunk into the boards, I should say. Okay, I've got this other end all set up over here. Let's, uh, let's get that raised up.
All right, well, there we go. Okay, got it up off the ground. I got those uh, six ton jack stands right there from Harbor Freight. That's uh, the three ton that I had under there. I decided to uh, jack that back up and uh, put the more heavy duty ones under there just for uh, just for a little maybe peace of mind. Because this thing, like I said, is extremely heavy. So, all right, well, let me get those stands under there. Okay, I got those uh, jack stands under there, the heavy duty ones. That one is uh, something I use on my car, whatever. But you see, I still need to set that down there. But all right, let's uh, let's get it on there. Okay, guys, I'm gonna call this a wrap. Homestead Purple out.